Well, hello, Libra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Libra, this is going to be your January 2023 reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you today. This is going to be for Libra. <clears throat> like I've always say, this is a part of the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? That we all face. It doesn't matter what time of year. We're just going to see what's going to come out, okay? All right. So you guys, there's it's said that you guys are going to be paying attention, closer attention to something. Like this is not going to be a time where you overlook something. You're going to double check. You're going to read between the lines. Now, this could be through contracts, but I do feel like this has something to do with relationships or or what someone is telling you. You're going to be like, hmm, let me just see. Let me, let me. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what this person is saying is true. <laughs> okay, this is basically what I'm saying. Seeing, okay, you're paying more attention to someone's actions, what they say, if it's in harmony with their actions, that type of stuff. Now, you have a card here that says something will happen within a few days. Something will happen within a few days. Maybe it could be some communication. We have declaration at the bottom of the deck. I do see that there's a faded connection or a faded situation. This is, I'm not going to say that. The world of karma talks about faded or destiny. So I do feel like there's going to be something that's going to be inevitable, <laughs> whether it's leaving someone or someone coming into your life. We're going to keep this light. There's definitely something that's going to be inevitable. Of course, when we get into the reading, we're going to find out those good things that are inevitable to happen. Look at this. You have wish granted serendipity. Patience will pay off in abundance. That is what is inevitable. Wow. <clears throat> really good stuff here for you, Libra. Really, really good. We're going to go ahead and get to the other deck. Let's see what else is coming out here for Libra. Let's see if this is going to be in harmony with the oracles that we've already pulled. I do see companionship here. Some type of companionship. This is going to be for Libra. Completion. Graduation. It says you have graduated from a really difficult life lesson. You're over that and done. That is really good because a lot of you guys are, have been trying to overcome a very testy situation in the past year of 2022. So this is really good to see. Um, so it is a completion of a cycle. Karmic justice. This is really good as well, because this is just basically saying, you know, the, I'm just going to read it. Just, let's just read it. This is a time when all wrongs are being made right, according to the universe. And it says, whomever have wronged you is about to receive their karma. Okay, yeah, we're not worried about them, though. But it says, allow karma to come full circle. Be patient. Ask for a divine inter intervention. But trust the process. And I do see that there's going to be good things coming towards you. Some of you may have been having issues with family. Um, and I'm also seeing a water sign here for a lot of you. You are, de you are dealing with a water sign. A water sign could have been involved in some kind of way. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. I definitely sense a lot of confusion with you, Libra. Maybe you don't know what to do, where your life is headed. King of Earth. And Earth and water sign is here. A sense of freedom here. This is an omen to set yourself free from bad influences, confinement, circumstances, and stagnation. Again, a lot of this is destined to occur. I also see that there could be someone that's an Earth sign that could come in here and help you financially. Someone who could come in here in general that's just very stable and grounded and very loyal when it comes down to Commitment, because I saw companion try to pop out earlier. So I do feel like there is a companion coming your way. Let's get the last one that's flipped over. Loss. Loss comes in different forms. It could be loss of a lover, trust, loss and trust because of a lover or a family member. It could be loss of a family member or a job. So some of you are in this position of loss, okay? And you may not be happy about it, depending on what it is. There's fury, there's anger here for some of you, but not everyone is angry. I mean, I mean, technically you could be angry because you lost something or, or that's something, that's the energy that you're going to be feeling in the future. Now we're going to go ahead and get into your tarot. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you, Libra. 
<clears throat> Let's see what's going to come out for you. With love, romance, finances, career, for Libra. Even health. Oh, a few cards falling here. Page of Wands and a Strength card. The strength to move on. Having a strength because there is something that you're losing. Invisible force. There's something from the past that you're going to have to let go or in a process of letting go because that's a part of the loss. I feel like you're there's a self-limiting, the way that you're thinking. You're like limiting yourself. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't be pessimistic about the future. I'm telling you, things are going to get better for you. I mean, this is a part of the process like we saw earlier here with graduation. It literally just talked about a completion of a cycle. But I do see that for some of you, there's a new path coming. But I do, again, remember I said something about confusion? Yeah. Here with the Seven of Pentacles, there's some type of hmm, aimlessness. Exactly. Uncertain about life. Uncertain about something. I feel like maybe some of you want to talk to someone that you could be separated from. There's this anxiousness here. You don't know what's happening with your relationships. You do have someone coming in here with the king with the knight of wands. This person is very karmic. Yeah, and I feel like you may cut them away here with the queen of swords. That's so crazy. And focus and worry about you. As far as relationships, I want to be honest. I don't see a grounded relationship for a lot of you right now. I do feel like this energy is mostly you focusing on yourself, your work, your achievement, your mastery. That is a part of your driven energy, which is something that I'm saying that's going to happen for you. You're destined for greatness in some area. Now, yes, as far as relationship, there is someone coming in here. But again, this is a page and a night. The night has a tendency to be very impatient, I mean, very impatient, yes, and very impulsive. But it can be so superficial. It may not be anything that is worth your time, even though you are giving this person your time. But I know for a fact that it's going to be something that's going to trigger you because you got the Queen of Swords, which talks about cutting something away. <laughs> You're going to get clarity about something. And this is what we were looking at with detail. You're going to see something a little bit different that you didn't see before. Somebody is coming in and out of your life for a few of you. Let's see what else is here. This is for Libra. Your money is going to improve because you're going to be focused on your money here with the Eight of Pentacles to show itself again. A lot of you do not lose faith here with the higher fence. I do feel a new job is coming in here for a lot of you. There's something about your craft that you're doing. I keep seeing that Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you are trying to deprogram yourself from certain types of belief systems. Um, you know, things that you've been hearing your whole life. You're like, I don't even believe that anymore. I also see therapy could be uh, something else that some of you guys may be needing because of a very testy, uh, because of a very, you know, troubling situation, maybe because of this loss. <clears throat> Maybe you weren't able to tell someone what you really feel and they're not they're no longer in your life. Yeah, look at this. Got the Tower and the Two of Pentacles. I do sense an energy of instability. The Tower talks about, ooh, you guys barely missed something. Something that it was like you oh, you 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 missed some type of disaster. You it was a narrow escape, as it says. This could have been money. This says inevitable too. There is change here that you guys may be resisting, but this is not going to, I'm telling you right now, there's some, there's some things here that's about to start happening for you. Um, but there's an the energy of some of you may be feeling out of control. That's a part of that, that confusion. This is not going to last. Two of Pentacles is letting me know that you're going to um, overcome this feeling of disappointment and being overwhelmed. Okay. A lot of you have been dealing with someone who has been juggling you and someone else is horrible. This is why I see a lot of releasing here. I see a lot of releasing. 
A lot of you really want a committed relationship with someone. That's the anxiousness that you feel, but you're not getting it from them. Mm -mm. You guys are really good with your work. But again, have faith. Nine of Wands in this particular situation talks about faith. Things are going to turn out better for you, believe it or not. Here with the High Priestess, it talks about, you know, your higher self. You're going within here. I'm going to split the deck one more time. This is going to be for Libra. I'm split the deck for Libra. Let's see what's going to come out here. New beginning here with a full card. Absolutely. A lot of carefree energy opportunities. Spontaneity is definitely going to be here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. An aha moment or awakening, okay, is with this hangman. But, you know, don't lose, a, don't, like I said, there's this, this resistance to change that the universe is trying to get you guys to see. Um, but I do see that there's someone here. And again, you know, um, there's in the future, there's going to be a letting go here. Because you guys are going to be seeing something completely different or the way you view this person is going to be different. But right now, there's a delay of your happiness because someone refuses to let go. But like I said, there's going to be a new beginning here for you. Totally. Um, and I keep seeing something about new work, new jobs. I keep seeing that energy. Some of you guys may have uh, more than one stream of income, two jobs, actually. Okay. But yeah, new beginnings. A lot of change is happening. This is what I have for you here, Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information is inside the description box. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.